These people said that any time they've experienced any kind of strange paranormal activity within the home, there's like an increase in like pest activity as well. They said that one time the sink was full of maggots when there was noises and whispers happening within the house. They've said they have frogs, they have black racer snakes, they have spiders, cockroaches, maggots, all of these things they've experienced before. I've never heard of anything like this before, but I found it very, very strange that the moment we picked up something running through or running past the kitchen, there's just six or seven roaches crawling all over the countertop. I can't make this shit up. I don't know how to explain it, but it felt evil. It felt weird. I don't like this at all. I told you I didn't like the way this place felt the minute we got here, bro. I think they both felt like that. There's papers all over the floor over here. Yeah, I saw something move over here after the chair slid. It's almost like something came through here, you know what I'm saying? Like the chair moved and then shit over here went flying. I'm positive I got that on the camera. You wanna do yes, no right here? I mean, yeah. You wanna breathe for a sec? Yeah, let's take a sec, dude. And then, yeah, we'll grab something like What's with the stuff. fucking roaches, man? Like, one just ran behind this fucking garbage can. Like, it's all, like, here. Like, something bad is, like, here. Yeah, well, now you're kicking me out, man. I just wanna move away from this spot. Let's take a minute. All right. We decided to go get the yes, no prism. We knew that we needed to set up tests right here, right here in the kitchen where all this stuff just happened. We went out to the truck. Um, we stopped rolling just for a second. And when we were outside by the truck, we heard this loud slam coming from the barn or the stable area, whatever that building was off to the side. But we didn't have time to go there just yet because we just captured all this activity in the house. <laughs> When we set up the yes no prism in the kitchen, I was hooked into the hypersensitive EVP tests. I was listening to see if I could hear anything abnormal with the microphone on like super, super high volume. This is kind of a new test that we've been doing, but a lot of times when we record EVPs, you know, we have to play it back to see if, if the EVP was captured on the audio device. We've just started doing this recently to where all the sound is enhanced and I can hear everything extra loud through the headphones. Can you use this device to let us know if you're here right now? Was that a fit of anger earlier? I just heard a boom noise. Sound like it was from outside, but it was like boom, like bass heavy. I didn't hear anything. You didn't? No. I just heard a boom noise. I just heard a boom noise. It sounded like it was from outside, but it was like a boom, like bass heavy. I didn't hear anything. You didn't? No. Do you plan on communicating with us through one of these devices or just making noises? Oh, no way. What did you just ask it? I just said, do you plan on communicating through one of our devices? Or do you just plan on moving things? What is happening there now? There's been times when we have our devices do some really weird shit, but the yes, no prism just saying no, 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 over and over again. That was the first time either one of us have experienced that. And it's literally on the corner, right where all the activity was going on. Whatever it is, it's staying right there next to it. The cockroach just came back. Yeah. 
Bro, there's something. <laughs> and this whole, look, there's another one. Look, 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 see that? See? Let's get out of here. All right, yeah. Do you want to do, you wanna yeah, do no. like a test in the barn? Yeah, sure. This is just mesmerizing and it's... No, but... This is weird. Like, this isn't like just regular activity. Like, this isn't like some peaceful shit. Like, there's something in here right now that's not good. Shit is sketchy, bro. Everything out here, man. Like that right there. Like, why does it have to come right up to the edge of the woods? What? The end of this. Down there. Oh, yeah, I know. It sounded like one of these gates slammed earlier, didn't it? Or something, yeah. Is there anything in here? Is there any animals in here that we're, like, not... I mean, it would make sense if there was an animal out here. Maybe. Like something kicking a stall? Maybe. I know you heard that. I'm hearing oh. everything, bro. See, now it makes sense to me why these people are so fucking freaked out being here, you know? Yeah. I get it. I don't want to be here anymore right now. Let's set up the spirit box like right in the middle here. Look, we got, I mean, we got chairs. I guess one of us could sit, right? Yeah. What is your name? There was some phrases coming through, a couple words. Honestly, it was hard for me to focus on because it was horrifyingly scary in there already. And then we were both startled by a loud slam. Is this the woman that we found in the lake? My first reaction was to mute the spirit box. So I muted the spirit box and we were just listening for a moment, trying to see if we could hear maybe another one or like any kind of follow up noises. There's just a figure just staring at us. It looked like it was facing us from on top of the bridge, not moving, standing still. Do you see that right there? We don't know what's showing up on the camera, his cell phone camera at all. We're just fixated on it. And then it turns around and it bolts. Dude, what is that? I oh, bro, it's, it's just... moving. It's moving. What the fuck is that? Oh, my oh God. dude. When it ran, it looked more unnatural than I've seen anything move. Dude, I swear to God, I just saw something run past, like, outside. Something moved. Do you... What is that? Do you see that right there? Dude, what is that? Oh, know. bro, it's, it's just... moving. It's moving. What the fuck is that? Oh, my oh God. dude. It almost felt like it was made out of smoke.
10 Spooky Facts, Part 7 Number 1. Two months after Charlie Chaplin's death, grave robbers dug up his body and held it for ransom, demanding $600,000. Police quickly recovered the body where it was then reburied, this time with a large stone slab covering his grave. Number 2. The legendary Headless Horseman does not originate from New York, but instead comes from Ireland, known as the Dullahan, who was tasked with taking souls that were ready for death. His specter rode upon a headless horse, or a horse with burning red eyes. He used a human spine as a whip and would take the eyes of those who stared upon him. The creature also possessed supernatural sight and would hold his severed head up high, looking across vast expanses of the countryside, even in pitch dark, allowing him to look into houses of the dying. Number three, there is a brain-eating organism that lives in warm bodies of fresh water and can kill a human within days, producing symptoms similar to those of meningitis. This is a death sentence with a 98% mortality rate as there is no treatment known. Number four, when a person is electrocuted in the electric chair, they feel everything. They are fully aware of their bodies being fried as it happens in real time. In 1947, a man survived a botched execution by electric chair. He said that it tasted like cold peanut butter and saw lights that looked a lot like a rooster's tail fishing lure. Number five, Abraham Lincoln was plagued with nightmares of his death for days before the event. According to the recollection of one of his friends, Ward Hill Lemon, Lincoln's dreams consisted of mourners crying and a corpse lying in the White House East Room. In the dream, Lincoln asked a soldier standing guard who was dead in the White House, to which the soldier replied, the president. He was killed by an assassin. Lincoln woke up at that point. On April 11, he told Lamon that the dream had strangely annoyed him ever since. Days later, Lincoln was shot dead by the assassin while attending the theater. Number 6. Aztec priests believed that the tears of children could stop droughts. They believed in the power of human sacrifice, and many of their rituals included sacrificing women and children to serve their sun god. When they experienced drought, Aztec priests sacrificed children because they believed their tears could call on the rain. Number 7. When the movie trailer for The Exorcist was shown to the public in theaters, it was reportedly so scary that people ran out of the room. As a result, they decided to ban that version of the trailer, though the video is now available to watch on YouTube. Number 8. Queen Elizabeth II is related to Vlad the Impaler, which means Prince Charles is as well. The Prince of Wales, who actually owns several properties in Transylvania, is the heir to Vlad the Impaler's bloodline. He is. In fact, his great-grandson 16 times removed through the consort of George V, Queen Mary. Number 9. The number of people that die in a year due to medical error may be far more than you think. Over 250,000 to be more precise. Number 10. In addition to being obsessed with post-mortem photography of their dead loved ones, Victorian people also like to wear jewelry out of these deceased family members and friends. This often incorporated teeth, hair, and bones into rings necklaces, and other things of this nature. شاي ايش شاي طيب احكي لي ايش اسمي بلغة الجن حول حالك ما هيك انت الخروف انت المحول بسم الله ايوه 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 والله عم وجهك بسم الله بسم الله بسم الله ايوه 
تعال 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 اه بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله بسم الله الرحمن بسم الله بسم الله مو بده يغضرني يا اخوان بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Hey, come inside, I'm going to go.